taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. Crypto Lightsaber back with another video. Guys, we're going to talk about Zen. Crypto, in my opinion, the chart is looking super healthy, guys. We don't want to see this just go up in a straight line because what will happen? It will just come down in a straight line. Okay, guys, the pathway to the moon is not a straight line. Okay, so right now we're seeing a pullback. Okay, all right, guys, and what that does is it provides opportunity for people to accumulate more zen. It provides opportunity for people who may have missed the initial pump to come and go ahead and buy some zen. There's people that will tell you this strategy is just minting zen for free and play the long game okay guys yes i do believe play the long game but um you can get your hands on some zen right now and it's clearly there's clearly a demand for zen okay guys if you're minting zen for example if you're only minting zen and you're only doing long term mints you cannot burn zen you cannot burn zen to get into the other projects like db zen um there's a uh, there's one coming up called phoenix you know there's, there's a few zen projects that we haven't talked about on the channel yet Okay, guys, but um, there's a reason to be buying Zen. It's not just buying and holding. It's also buying and burning. And those burns benefit the whole ecosystem. These projects benefit the whole ecosystem as well. It benefits the Zen chart. So um, everyone's going to have their own strategy. There's a bunch of videos out there. Um, you pick your strategy. Stick with it. Whatever works for you. Okay, guys. I still believe in minting Zen. Okay, guys. I've actually just recently learned that you could batch mint on the Zen FTs. Um, which, you know, I'm, you know, I got in Zen from day one, guys. So I just got in, started minting, um, thought it could be something. And, uh, you know, I didn't really pay too much attention to everything that was going on because I'm a busy person. Okay, guys, but um, I've recently discovered that, you know, maybe the, the way that I've been minting is probably not the best way. I'm not a huge NFT man. I'm not going to have all the answers. Okay, guys, everyone's going to have their own strategy. I've got my strategy. I am minting on wallets, a bunch of wallets, but um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I realized that I could be, you know, minting a whole lot more, um, you know, on these Zen FTs, okay, guys, and you've got the Zen Churions, you've got uh, the, the coin tools I heard about, and all these things, guys, I don't know everything about Zen, all I know is that Zen is bullish, now, can Zen 10,000x? In my opinion, all you have to do is look at previous coins or tokens that have 10,000x before and come to the conclusion that yes, it can. Why? Because this is crypto and anything can happen. So can Zen 10,000x? Of course it can because it's crypto. Anything can happen. All right, guys. Now, there is a coin called Pepe, which is going absolutely nuts. And this is just merely a meme coin. It doesn't have half as much utility or hype or community as Zen. But this has gone absolutely crazy. Why? Because anything can happen because this is crypto. Okay, guys. If we pull up the chart for Pepe, let's do a measured move on Pepe. Okay, guys. Um, so Pepe is one that a lot of people are talking about uh, right now. And uh, you can see it's just gone up in a straight line. Okay. It's probably going to come down at some point, more than likely. Okay. If we do an approximate measured move, this has done... It won't tell me. I don't, I, 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 don't, I, can't, I can't read those measured moves. I don't know what it's saying to me there. But this has gone absolutely crazy. I know somebody apparently put around $260 in and made about $1.7 million. You can't sell all that. There's only $2.8 in liquidity. Okay, guys. But anything can happen in crypto. If you are bullish on this, there's a token that I recently bought as well. Okay, guys. There's a token that I recently bought to capitalize in on this meme coin run that is called cope okay guys so cope is a recent meme coin i heard from somebody else in another video and um, this one is only 414k market cap right now okay guys as pepe it's gone all the way to 831 million market cap so keep an eye on cope i'm not sure whether it's going to do well you know but you know, this is meme coin. Is it meme coin season? I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys. But made a lot of money on meme coins in the past. I don't see why it can't happen again. But Cope is one that I'm looking at. If you go to their Twitter, uh, this has got a similar type of, uh, you know, theme. Okay, guys. The website looks all right as well. If you go over to the website, can I have a play about in your own time? I thought I'd put that on your radar. And this is not a meme coin video. Okay, guys. Uh, but that one's just for free. 
But uh, Pepe has gone absolutely crazy. I don't see why Zen, you know, can't reach even this market cap in the very short term. But, you know, can it 10,000? It only needs to double to reach the same market cap, that being said, right? But at the end of the day, you just never know with crypto, okay? Me, personally, I think in the long term, over the next few years, coupled with the Bitcoin bull run and alt season and everything, I think Zen Crypto is going to do really well, okay, guys? And even if it only does a 1,000x, even if it only does a 100x, I set to make life-changing gains on this particular project, okay, guys? So, you know, I have to aim for the top. If you get enough Zen or enough, accumulate enough tokens so that even if it does a fraction of the move that you're expecting or that you believe they can do, you're going to be sitting pretty and that's the way you play Zen Crypto, in my opinion. Just thought I'd give you that video, guys. It's a very quick one. If you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe. Like and comment down below. Tick the little bell for notifications and I'll see you guys in the very next video.